guitar people. How are we? Tony here. With another acoustic lesson. Uh, today we've got a really fun one. We've got um, a 12 bar blues with some really cool licks running through the whole thing. They're a little bit speedy. But with a little bit of practice, a little bit of muscle memory. Uh, and you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. So let's just dive right in, shall we? We'll, um, we're going to start... At the end, we're going to start with the turnaround. Now, that's a really great way to kick off a blues because turnaround is normally played at the end, then brings you to the start. So, we're playing it at the start, which I'm not going to explain it too much. It just sounds right. Okay, so uh, we're going to do this. All right. So, this is pretty simple. What we're going to do is take our middle finger, slide it from one to three on the B string. Then get the high E open, all right, and then back to three again. And I'm going to pick down, up, down, and then I'm going to come back down at the second fret, same thing, two, zero, two, one, zero, one, and then zero, 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 and then I'm going to do like a little stab hammer on to one on the G. And um, can I mute that afterwards to give that that effect? Sorry, I'm a little bit stuffed up. You might you might hear. Um, I'm just on the back of a spell of a particular virus. So uh, yeah, apologies if I sniffle during this. All right, and then we're gonna climb in to a B seven zero one two on the A string. I need a B7 shape. Now you might notice I'm keeping the high E open and just strumming down like that. Alright, so. Alrighty, so now we're going to go into the full progression now. And basically, there's a lick in E and there's a lick in E. And once you've got them both down, you've basically got the majority of the song. So let's kick it off with our like an E, and it's gonna sound like this. All right, so basically what we're doing is we're sliding with our middle finger from 12 to three on the low E. And then I'm going into this power chord. Get my index finger on two on the E string, and I'm getting the low E open. One, two, middle finger on three, low E and then open again, right? And then the lick. We're basically climbing up the open E blues scale and the first couple of notes go like this. Now what I'm doing here is I've got three zero in the high E, three on the B and then zero in the high E. But I'm slightly bending that note up, giving it a little bluesy nudge. And I'm also raking into that note, um, which sounds like this. Now I'm getting that effect, and you don't need to do this, right? But it's a technique worth practicing, because it sounds pretty cool. I, I've got my index finger muting the bottom four strings, all right? And that allows me to have that raking effect when I... Bring my, um, my pick down. All right, so I'm getting just an extra bit of oomph for that note. Okay, so three zero three zero, and then I'm going to take my middle finger from three to two, slide, and then pull off to zero. Right. Okay. Then I'm going to get my middle finger on two on the D. Pull over to two in the G, back to two in the D, and then zero on the, the G. And then I'm going to pull off from two to zero on the D, two in the A, and then open, and then a quick pull off from one to zero on the A, and then three in the low E. And you need to get that quite quick for it to sound right, all right? So, in total, it would sound like this. Alright. Nice 
nice and slow. Then we've got to do it one more time, but without the slide. So that brings us to our next part, which is the A lick, and that's going to sound like this. Alright, so we're just starting off the same, but we're doing this power chord in A now. So we've got our finger on the 2 on the D string, and I'm getting the open A string. 1, 2, and then 3 on the A string, and open again, right? And then the lick goes like that. First part goes like this. You slide your middle finger to six on the G, and then you've got five five on the B and E, right? Just using your index finger there to bar those two. Alright. Alright, so you go six, five, five, and then climb back, seven, six, five on the high E, and then two very quick bends on the uh, the E on the B and then back to five on the B. Alright. And then I'm gonna take my middle finger from um, six on the D and I'm gonna slide that back in to basically the top part of our E lick. So slide that to two, pull off, and then just climb up the open E blues scale again, the same way we're doing the E leg. So slide from six to two, open, and then two, and then the same zero, pull off, and one, three. And that's us back into an E lick again for one more time. And then we've got to do the, the E lick. And then that brings us into our next section. Okay, so for the next section is the last four bars, all right? So after we've finished that lick in E, we're gonna slide up and do this. All right, so what we do here, after we've done that lick, Then take my index finger from 1 and slide it up to 5 and then go into um, a B7 chord, okay? So this is me just barring the 7th fret with the E7 shape, alright? And then I'm going to do the same kind of chromatic thing I did in A, but from 9th fret on the high E, alright? So 1 and 2. 9, 8, 7, 10 on the B, uh, 7 on the B, okay, and then I do the exact same lick, but I'm using the 5th fret, right, this is an A7 now. turn around again which we did at the start and then I'm going to climb into my B7 and then you can either start again or finish it off with a cool E7 chord or maybe up here with a this is a Hendrix chord so you're using that B7 shape on the 7th fret to be an E7 
and put your pinky on the A of the B and finish it off in a cool fashion like that. <laughs> <laughs>